so you just just do a 180 degree turn and decide in my mind, in my thinking, in my belief system, I'm going to uh, think differently. And I think differently about the prophetic. I think that um, my voice is the smallest voice in the room. And I don't think the guy has to have me speak it. I don't think he needs me. My wife and I were studying about the story of Balaam and how Balaam kept trying to go down that road and he couldn't see what the donkey saw. That's right. But for some reason, the donkey could see and recognize this huge angel with a sword that was blocking the way. And I don't know, I don't know, I guess you know, animals have that other sense and they can see and sense. I won't even get into my own dog and what he senses off of me. <laughs> it's actually a she. That's just how bad it is. <laughs> but the donkey was trying to protect Balaam. And, and Balaam was like, let me go this way. Let me go that way. And, and uh, I got something I need to say. I got something I need to do. I need to get on to the other side. And the animal was like, mm -mm 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 don't go that way, don't go that way. <laughs> and so, what was amazing was that here the donkey was trying to protect. And so then Balaam began to beat the thing that was protecting him. Oh. I mean, we do the same thing. And that donkey. This is where I realized God could use anything. Because just like he said he would fill Moses' mouth, and Moses wouldn't have to worry. And he said he would fill Jeremiah's mouth. And as young as he was, he, he wouldn't have to worry about what to say. This donkey decided to be filled, well, I guess he didn't decide, but God decided to, to fill his mouth just as easy as he fills our mouths. And the donkey said, why are you hitting me? Am, am, I, am I not the one that has carried you all these years, has been faithful to you all these years, and you're, you're hitting me? Yes. So he hits him again three more times, you know, like bam, bam, bam. The donkey's like, what's going on? He's talking back to the donkey. The donkey's talking back to him, which I think is a little strange. But they're having these conversations going back and forth. And then God opens up Balaam's eyes to see what he couldn't see. To realize, hey, if you had gone that way, you would have been killed. That's right. And sometimes our gift can get in the way of just the small whisper of God. I mean, we've been talking about awakening, but I know, um, you know, I already know that prophetic people like you, like me, like you, are hurting people. And we speak big. And we walk tall. And nobody really sees the stuff we hide. don't fit in. So sometimes we get out of order. 
Sometimes we're disruptive because we're just glad to be in a place where we fit. strategies of the Lord come in secret. I'm reminded of the scripture where he says this, search for me and you will find when you search with all of your giving him, telling him we want to give him all. He wants that part of you withholding ever since you left the church, ever since you left that group that rejected you, ever since you sensed rejection, felt rejection, ever since you cried, ever since you were alone, ever since you felt like you didn't fit in. He wants that part of you too. Sometimes we end up doing all this kind of work and we end up prophesying and screaming and blowing things up in the spirit just to cover up the fact that we have ground that's very dry that hasn't been watered and touched by his word. And we get busy, we get busy, and we get loud, we get very loud. And nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, nothing. nothing like sitting at his feet and hearing instruction and letting him cleanse you as somebody was singing about having clean hands and pure hearts I mean, how can we prophesy with a heart that has some parts that are not completely clean Um, he told me he told me all about you and um, and then um, and that was four months, five months, six months ago that we would be here this time, this moment people like you, people like me needing restoration because if we don't get restoration, then we won't ever get to the place that he needs us to be so that we can conquer the things we need to conquer because it's really not about us. It's really so that the kingdom will be one. People that need to be in the kingdom would be in the kingdom. And it's not how well you prophesy and all the great stuff that we do. 
but it's for wedding souls into the kingdom. I know it sounds simple and it's something we heard, but we get distracted because it puts words in our mouth. And I don't know where I'd be if you didn't put words in my mouth. <laughs> Sometimes, God, we just want to hear you speak. And be the loudest voice in the room. The loudest voice in our heart. One of the things he told me was that there is a new day breaking, a new breed was coming. And that the nations are saying the kingdom's awakening. Mm -hmm. That our faith is active, that our faith is exploding. There will be intense demonstrations. The future is at hand. There's a new authority and a new identity mm -hmm. that justice and glory were meeting. Mm -hmm. There was a new sound from heaven that's filling the earth, defeating the old, and revealing what's new. But none of this matters if we aren't repentant. None of this matters if we aren't in the place that we're supposed to be in and we cover it up with all our prophetic words and, and we're not here, we're not here just to prophesy. We're here so that he can give us instruction so then we can go out into our streets and to our neighborhoods and change the areas that we live in. Otherwise, it's just you, me, and hope they get something. And that's been the, the story of the church for so long. It's been, we have had a great service. We have had wonderful service. Don't necessarily remember the message exactly, but it was wonderful, it was great. And we leave out and we go eat and we go about our rest of our week. And if, you get, if you're at a place where it's like a lot of us are, where we don't fit in because the church doesn't want to hear the voice of the Lord, Unfortunately, I don't know why that is, but yeah. it just happens to be that way. It doesn't mean that we're not supposed to be in the church. It just means that church needs to get their stuff together. But we don't get so rejected that yeah. we leave the church and the church becomes secondary because we got the voice of the Lord within us. Amen. That's good. We, the, the church needs to hear the voice of the Lord, the word of the Lord, what he is saying. And it's in your mouth. But but you can't go back there. You can't go to another place when we haven't been restored. We haven't because we're dealing with rejection and it's difficult. It's difficult. It's, it's difficult. And they say in the plane, if the plane goes down, they say. The oxygen mask will fall down. And they say, put it on yourself first. Right. And then put it on That's right. your child. Because as much as you want to save your child, you are no good to your child if you haven't saved yourself first. Yes, yes. And we're no good to the world if we haven't done what we need to do with our own heart mm -hmm. right. first. Once that's done, I believe that we qualify mm -hmm. for the next place, which is to save the world. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that um, it's real nice and easy to talk about where the army of God, right? Really, the angels are in the army of God, but at the same time, one of the things that I heard was that um, as we worship from here, that that worship would pierce the atmosphere and cause the warring angel to be released over our region and then and then our cities would begin to change and so then our our job is not to uh, war at that point 
our job is to worship. Because our worship will keep the heavens open. And our giving will keep the heaven open too. And our praying will keep the heaven open too. So give us clean hands. And give us clean hearts. Because you will not despise us. You will not reject us. With clean hands and pure hearts, we want to be more like you. Give us clean hands, give us pure hearts. Here we are. I want to be more, I want to be more, like my father, like my father, yes, I want to be more, I want to be more, like my father, like my father, I only say what you want. Only do what you want me to do Just like my father Like my father Only say what you want me to say Only do what you want me to do Just like my father Cause I am in you And you are in me I am in you And you are in me I am in you And you are in me Put words in my mouth. Let me speak from a pure heart and not a dry place. Put your word in my mouth, and I give you my heart. I give you my. Heart. I give you the broken places. 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 I give you all the rejection. I give you all the rejection. Cause you have more. You have more. You have more. Go out of the 
church, I've lost the building, I've lost finances, I've lost people. But when you come through the pain and you release it to the Lord and you learn how to love through it, yeah, yeah, yeah. here's the word. Hosea 215. It says, Then I will give you back your vineyards, and I'll make you a valley of acorn and a door of hope for others. Three times this week, the Lord told me to go visit a pastor. Three times he told me in, in three weeks. you think I'd have heard it the first time. We are supposed to be prophetic. But I was obedient and I went to see him yesterday. And I didn't know 